He like, he like, bitch, you almost hit me. You like, you cheap ass shit. I know. It's like the kid went to a movie and stood in front of the screen. I was like. That, no, that's what it is. No, I know. That, oh, it's that, so that, bad. That's exactly People, what it is. That is the effect that they did. They so they this is called rear screen projection. Mm -hmm. So they had this kid standing in, a, in front of a in front of a goddamn uh, tablecloth or uh, <laughs> yeah. bed sheet <laughs> and bed sheet. <laughs> yeah, they had to stand from a bed sheet and projected that that yeah. footage on there. Go ahead and get your tickets for Double Toasted Live in Atlanta. You press that banner right there, it'll take you to x1entertainment.com. And over there, you can get your tickets for Double Toasted Live in Atlanta for a night of comedy games and our after party that's gonna be September 2nd. You know, a lot of a lot of you in our audience, I mean, the majority of you are, and we just found out this out, uh, you know, uh, very much so the other day. We took a little poll and a questionnaire about something and found out a lot of y'all are, of course, millennials, but we have a lot of Gen Z people up in here. Now, the millennials will probably know what I'm talking about here, but I know a lot of Gen Z people, you're enjoying right now a golden age <coughs> of superhero movies, you know, and the millennials, some of y'all, you know that we kind of, we were kind of expecting, we kind of felt like we were going to have a new golden age of superhero movies back in the day. In 1989, when your boy Batman came out, directed Ooh. by directed by Tim Burton, and then uh, we got the not that funny stuff, not that silly ass Batman. No. This was actually a dark Batman. <laughs> and by the way, Bat Fever was so crazy that on the poster they even had to put the name. They just put the bat the, the bat logo on there. That's it. And the and the date when it was coming out, because they wanted y'all to know to be there. But they did not didn't have to put no Batmans on there. Now that was so successful. <laughs> no Batmans <laughs> they put on no there. Batmans no on penguins, there. no Batmans. Nothing. They no, had to put his picture up there. Nope. Just that logo. That's it. <laughs> All shiny and everything. Oh, it was so shiny. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I loved it, the baby. So then when that came out and was so successful, everybody said, oh well, oh shit. Now we got to jump on board because the new golden age of superhero movies is here. It has arrived. It has arrived. And then that's what some people say. Well, you know, Batman, he, he good. But, you know, he ain't he ain't the only big shit around here. You know, there's other there's other superheroes that are just as iconic as he is. There are others out there that have a brand as big as his. I mean, sure, you look at that bat signal and that bat logo, and you know what they're talking about. But what if I was to show you? Uh, what, what, what if I what, what if I, I was to pull out that that shield? There he is, Martin Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> what if I? <laughs> you did dress up as this man before, but yeah, what if yeah. I was to pull out that shield right there? I ain't got to put no name on that. Nope. I, I, listen, Batman put. If you look at his poster. He had to put the date on his poster. We ain't even got to put the date on Captain America because <laughs> especially we, when we didn't know. Especially because <laughs> we know that y'all gonna show up at this no matter what that date is right there. Plus we don't know. <laughs> but but it's shiny like the bat logo. <laughs> not quite. That is shiny. Got some got some got some got some tarnish on it a little bit there here and there. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't do that shit right. I, I love how they went like, well, we gonna put extra shine on yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We gonna outshine that bat logo right there. Ooh, you think you? He got sparkles in the front. Look at our shit glowing oh, right here, man. They were hoping to let people know that you know what, just like Batman. Our brand is just as big, and that's going to If we ain't got to put nothing on there but that bat shield for Captain America 1990, if we ain't got to put no title, no date, then y'all know that's going to be good because, well, Batman did it. And I will tell you this. I remember them talking about this movie. I remember reading it in these nerdy-ass movie magazines mm -hmm. I used to collect back in the day. I saw some pictures, and I said, well, you know, I, I mean, they can keep in mind that this is uh, at a time when people weren't really – putting their all into making comic book movies look like the actual source material. Mm. So they were putting pictures out that kind of looked like, they would, you know, because they were very select pictures, that kind of looked like the comic book in a oh, way. Yeah. You remember this? Oh I, oh, I do. I do. Because that was the thing. Even with Tim Burton's Batman, you know, he had that whole black leather slash rubber look. It's Batman-ish, but it wasn't quite Batman from the comics. 
But to see this Matt Salinger, Captain America, in the trade magazines, just the photos, the stills they took. Oh, yeah. Oh, they that's had, comic book accurate. They had him in the poses. They showed you pictures that looked like it was straight out the comic. And people just saying, boy, man, this might be the next Batman out mm -hmm. there. And then that trailer came out. <laughs> Happens to be the best damn candidate out of 600 volunteers. And the power to save millions. The Jerry said. Well, he caught that like a dog catching a frisbee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and did you see all that phone oh, calls up when he grabbed that shit? Sure did. Oh, <laughs> he squeezed it. <laughs> he was a goddamn power two just... Oh, and look at it. Boy, look at that. How oh, it is. That's a damn. <laughs> That's a damn pancake they threw in here. Ain't no shit. <laughs> you wouldn't throw a fridge like that on boy, 4th of July, boy. Yeah, that looked like a, <laughs> that looked like a gummy he threw it in. The human man. I got a fellow called Hello. Red Skull heading up their outfit. The finish a battle started decades ago. It's <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> like, like, like two chicks fighting. Hey, yeah, let go of my hair. Let go of my hair. Ah, <laughs> uh, people straight out the... Pages of Marvel Comics. <laughs> it's straight out of a pile of bullshit. And, and, and made with the same amount of paper. <laughs> Comes Captain America. Uh, so, so uh, as you saw right here, for those who read, who have read the comics, who, who read the comics, for those who might uh, have watched the, the movies, which a lot of you have, you know, uh, uh, a lot of this seems like it's, uh, it's faithful to the source material. You know, this is a, about uh, Steve Rogers, who was a guy who was not accepted by the military, but was one to show his patriotism. So volunteered himself to an experiment for what they call the super soldier serum. Uh, it worked. He became somewhat of a hero, uh, fought his arch nemesis, the Red Skull. But in one of their biggest conflicts, he got strapped to a rocket, uh, fell out of a plane. So I don't know how it was in the comic. Here he got strapped to a rocket and then fell into the Arctic and was frozen for several years until they thought him out in modern times and then he became a modern day hero. Went on to play with the Avengers and all that kind of stuff. So you know how, that's the basics right there. They did keep to the basics with this. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> this is some basic <laughs> shit that we're watching right now. Uh, so, you know, we do a time jump. We start in, before we see Captain America in World War II, in, in, in modern times, we see him in World War II. Uh, you know, this is the Nazi era. And that's how this movie does kick off. And by the way, people, before we actually go any further, let me mention that because of time constraints tonight, we just saw another superhero movie that took a while. Uh, and they wouldn't let us review the movie uh, until the embargo was up tomorrow. So we split this in two parts. So you will get some more Captain America next week. Is it worth it? I'm going to say hell yes. It was a lot. <laughs> it was, man, this movie's so it, 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 Yeah, it, it, it's a gold mine. <laughs> oh, my God. I, this is, I was looking forward to this, and this is what I feared. I said, this is going to be too much. Too much. Yeah. But it was one where it's like, okay, this this isn't bad on that level of like, ho-hum. This is just like, wow. It just keeps going. This, it, it gets yes. cheaper. And at one point, you're like, this just looks like an episode of Wonder Woman. And then you go, I apologize, Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> this does kick off like the original story, the origin story. You know, we are in World War II, Nazi Germany. And this kicks off with, with the Nazis being very overdramatic, as Nazis tend to be. Yeah, especially <laughs> movie Nazis. Yeah, especially in mo movie Nazis. Uh, starts out with them busting into a home, crashing through windows. Now, this is why I say they're being overdramatic, because there was a door right there. Yeah, but you know, shocking. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. The way, the way they shot that is ridiculous. Well, they, yeah, yeah. There was a door. There's a door right there. This fool jumped through the window and look. Fuck you doing, and, man? Yeah. And, then, okay. and this dude right here is looking at this man like saying, this man never sticks to the plan. Yeah, yeah, never does. Gunter always has to do his own thing. He looked at him like, again? Yeah. Lars? He's like, I hate this guy. <laughs> this guy always got to make a dramatic interest. You, you know, you know, movie Nazis ne never be the first one to greet a Nazi when they bust through the door or the window. Because I'm sure my, I'm sure my man just got up and said, "May I help you, gentlemen?" Yeah, you can help us. Shit. 
They are Nazis with guns. So what was I thinking? Yeah, right. Don't ever be the first one to get up and say hello. Yeah, yeah. lead that to somebody else. Cake, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get your cake ready. Like you said, was the window necessary? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I I just put that goddamn <laughs> window in. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Shut your ass up. Uh, he didn't get up talking shit to Nazis. Hey, hey, let's play this one out. Yeah. Uh, now, so why are they coming in, you know, busting up this man's house, ruining his windows and everything? Uh, turns out they broke into the house for a particular boy. <laughs> Push her like 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 turn us. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of like, I told Tina get off me now. Yeah. Uh, now they come in to get this boy, and I I'm thinking that you know this is some these these Nazis are pulling some 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 mafia mob shit because they, I'm thinking does this boy owe them money right <laughs> because they because they take him and they turn him around and they make him look they make him look while they kill the whole family oh, man and they didn't do nothing. <laughs> In fact, I'm sure if they had asked, can we take the boy? They would be like, yeah, take a little ass. We don't like him anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's always being a smart ass around here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it turns out that the reason why they want this boy, because I'm just, that's what you're kind of wondering. Why is this boy so important? Uh, it turns out that they want him because he's some genius prodigy and they want him for, of course, you know, Nazis are always experimenting or mm -hmm. something. They yeah. want him for their own kind of super soldier uh, experiment. So you can see this looks bad. They put masks on them and everything. And you also know it's bad for a couple reasons. One, uh, this chick starts freaking out. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm coming out. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Hold on, hold on. I said it was the bathroom. By the way, you know, for for for, for Nazis, for for what's you know supposed to be all hardcore, she escapes. Very easily. Like, wow. like, like, no one was posted up outside. No, right, right. You know, right. no, no one was saying, "Yo, get her ass." Nah, man. They were like, "You know, I'm sure you got her anyway." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, she crawling off, yeah, yeah, yeah. about to rat the asses. Right. <laughs> should, should we follow up? Nah. No, no, yeah, it's, about it's, to snitch on the asses. Yep. I got to pull this part up. So you know that uh, something's bad because she's freaking the fuck out. I mean, you know, and she works with the Nazis. So it, this must be really bad right, what they're right. doing to this kid. Also, you know, it's bad because it turns, it, it, they got a, a, a lab rat in here and it turns them into a goddamn stop motion creature. Yes. <laughs> 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 Ladies and Y'all look at that. Oh, no. That's a nightmare before Christmas shit, man. Oh, my God. Nightmare before Christmas. That's some look gumpy better. shit. Yeah, you're right. That's some gumpy shit. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Henry Selleck's like, uh-uh, yeah. put that on me. Yeah, it's yeah. true. I got to jump ahead here real quick. <laughs> now, normally, I would, I would save this, but I got to jump ahead because um, this kid, if you couldn't figure it out, this kid goes on to be the red skull, sure. which more like oh. looks looks more like a goddamn cancer ridden testicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, damn, uh, you know, uh, or a ball of play doh. Or, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's very toxic Avenger. Though. Yeah, you know what it looks like? It looks like when you finish with gum, you spit that shit out. Yeah. <laughs> it don't look like the red skull. <laughs> He's got a his nose is like W. C. Fields. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's his, that's actually his 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 uh his his, his uh, cheekbone right oh, there. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that nose is yeah. like <laughs> yeah. W. C. Fields by yeah. potato. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just kill all the Jews. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, but but uh, that, I had to move up here because you know. So this is a this is this is a kid that saw. The uh, saw the Nazis bust in and kill his whole family, mm -hmm. and then go and torture him, and turn him, as you say, into uh, an anti-Semitic toxic Avenger over here. <laughs> and but then later on, when he becomes the Red Skull, he starts looking at them lovingly. Man, did you mm -hmm. know that mm -hmm. Stockholm syndrome? 
the same Nazi that yep. that was there and killed his family. Now, I would say, you know, that this is some Stockholm syndrome for your ass right here. But this movie's written so badly. I know. I think they just didn't know. Yeah, they just didn't write it well. Right. So he got immediately turned to that from the kid. No. Uh, well, they they, they, they give they, you uh, they they hint that that's what happened because as the woman's running away, you hear the kid screaming. So they don't show him growing up or anything. They just one day just show him as an adult. And he's oh, okay. Just damn, you know, but they blob of has, clay. The other guy hasn't aged at all. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, like the Nazi hasn't aged. Man, yeah. if you're gonna point out stuff like that, we're gonna be no, no. This is because this is still World War Two. Oh wait, no, that's right. He did get older. Yeah, yeah. he grew up. Yeah, right. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, again, Sorry. again, that's why I'm telling you. Like, you be, now, I'm going to tell you, we could be hard, We could be here all night, but we're going to be around. He, Martin and I will be here all night talking about we don't know. <laughs> you know he was like, yeah, yeah that would be the answer a lot of times. I don't remember a whole like, bunch of Nazis during World War One. The Red Skull Italian instead of German. That's what I was going to yeah. say, yeah. yeah. He looks like a, looking like a damn crushed jelly bean right here. Yeah. And Smiling. That's shoulder. a big honker of a nose for Kendrick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, nose. exactly. <laughs> Now, you know, uh, we got the Red Skull out the way and his origin and everything. Let's 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 talk about the the man himself, Captain America. Now, if you're expecting an origin story where he's that scrawny Steve Rogers, that kid that couldn't get into the army because he was mm. he was weak and getting beat up by everybody, but he had but he had spirit, gump, and heart. Uh, think again, because they ain't got no money for that. They ain't got no money to take this actor's head to put on no goddamn, you know, the, you know the, body. Yeah, some, some little girl's body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they ain't got no money for that. And this is funny because in this movie, they ain't got no money for that. So he <laughs> he starts he starts big. And he don't just start big. He's the biggest the room. Oh, yeah, he sure is, boy. Right, right. They give him a limp, I guess. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, well, he's got polio. It's like, all okay. right. Yeah, they give him a, yeah, he got polio, so now he's got like a little pimp walk, you know. So. <laughs> pimp <laughs> walk. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> hey, right. you just got out the bus? <laughs> Yeah. And, it, and it's almost like you forgot he had it. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is how you catch him walking normal. And he's like, oh, yeah, shit, my limp. Yeah. <laughs> this was the director said, limp, God damn it, we ain't got all this yeah. time. <laughs> listen, because they, they tell you, look, you know, uh, we ain't got that money for that CG, you know, body fake shit. Now, now a, a limp don't cost nobody nothing. <laughs> yeah. You know, a little limp is free. I <laughs> made yeah. the, the director came over there, kicked him in the shins. <laughs> it's free. Yeah, limp, hey, you know, limp don't cost nothing. <laughs> you got polio, all right? Yeah. That's where we, that's where we yeah. going. Yeah, name. just <laughs> just walk like you got polio. Uh, how is that? Like this? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Why would Why'd you do that? He, he walks like somebody who illegally parked in a handicapped space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get out, try right. to, try yeah. to play it off. Yeah, look at the polio. The six foot four, two hundred twenty pounds. Yeah, <laughs> big ass. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna get him super soldier. Yeah, they, <laughs> boy, they they didn't try nothing. They didn't. I mean, they, you know, they didn't try to like have him like kind of scrunch down and walk nope, or no, anything. No. They didn't put no shoes on his knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, he's lumbering like lurch. <laughs> Did I miss something? And I'm not being sarcastic because he's so he he's a he volunteered for this top secret thing that they got going on. Because I mean, you know, you don't want anybody to find out they're making super soldiers. So, are they giving him a going away party? For a top secret <laughs> experiment that he volunteered for. <laughs> that, oh, oh, you, oh, you oh, caught that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so everybody, everybody, everybody in his little California town, not Brooklyn, yeah. uh, yeah, knows that he's, he's going people. away. Yeah, <laughs> to, yeah, for this, uh, this, this, uh, this, this experiment with the government. Yeah, it's like when you. Uh, <laughs> It's like when you live in a small town and you volunteer for the National Guard or some shit yeah. and everybody comes out mm -hmm. to like celebrate you. Even with his girl like, all right, you make sure you come back to me. Yeah. <laughs> and it's full of top secret mission. Top secret mission. And, and the whole neighborhood knows and they having a big party for him. You know, the army got up there like, God damn it. Well, I tell you, is he having a party? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Shit. Steve, I told you not to tell nobody. Who'd you tell? I just told my mama. Tell oh, my mama. That's it. That's it. She <laughs> told the whole neighborhood. She told the whole goddamn name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get mad at her. <laughs> my baby gonna be a super soldier. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like the like the original, like the origin story. He Steve does go in for the super soldier injection, which here looks more like a like a like a like a prison execution. Right? Oh my but, god. Yeah. But hey, you know what? We and Martin's seen this, but you're gonna get, get get a kick out of this. We we know it's working for a certain reason. Cause 
Because oh. it, it gives them those strong kneecaps. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the silly putty, yeah, yeah. them silly putty. Gives them that light, that strong cartilage in his kneecaps. Right there. I was like, man, y'all couldn't even use the Lou Ferrigno effects. No, <laughs> well, no, they, boy, they didn't, they didn't show us no biceps, no, 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 no chest, no, <laughs> none but kneecaps. <laughs> No pecs, no, no biceps, pe- yeah. no, no but, abs. But boy, the knees. The knees, boy, yeah, that's how you know. Hey, the first thing's to go, so yeah. that's, what, yeah. that's when you yeah. need that super, super yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they got the sparks yeah. flying and shit. Like, it doesn't look like it's working right. Is something wrong? They're like, I, I, are we ex- electrocuting it? Yeah. Yeah. Are sparks supposed to be flying yeah, out exactly. of the machine? So hey, you know, those knees are great, man. So if they, you know, if this superhero thing doesn't work, you'll be great at giving blowjobs. Oh. <laughs> It worked. Hey, it gave him strong knees <laughs> and, and shins. Uh, this is the time for congratulations all around. One of those delivered by the president himself. I'd like you to meet Richard Ehrlich. He's a special observer sent by President Roosevelt. A remarkable work, Dr. Vasselli. Congratulations. Hail Hitler! Surprise! Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> And he sold that too. He's like, good job, great job. Ha! <laughs> Got your bitch. Yeah, yeah. Boy, Ron Burgundy ended up being a Nazi. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and they didn't check him at all. He, he came in all cool. Yeah, nobody checked his ass. Yeah, I remember you. Oh, the president sends his congratulations. Hi, hello, bitch. <laughs> I'd like you to meet Richard Ehrlich. He's a special observer sent by President Roosevelt. Even that guy looked right. I'm hey, inviting him. Yeah, hold on. Remarkable work, Dr. Vassell. Congratulations. Hail Hitler! Oh, 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 shit, that looked like, that, that looked like the Oswald assassination. Yeah, yeah, sure did. I'll tell you what's cool here. So, your boy Captain America, he's been Captain America for two minutes and already killing Nazis. <laughs> Laughing at everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, ooh, ooh. This dude's been laughing at everyone. Exactly. He's having a good old time. Shit, it ain't me. <laughs> well, now he's like, this is the party. <laughs> so, so my man, <laughs> Captain Protestant. America, already, already killing Nazis, boy. Or maybe it was the bad editing that killed them. Yeah, yeah I think what the so. Fuck happened? Boy, this editing in this movie. Oh, this is, this is taking three editing in, oh, throughout this, is, this movie. Yeah. I think what it is, they, they don't have like a, a stunt coordinator or a fight coordinator. Mm-hmm. So they just made this choppy as hell. Yeah. Boy, he, he is dancing on one leg and shit. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. He's getting it all in there. <laughs> this is the shit, my man got up there and did a Bojangles, man. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That could be the new step on yeah. kids. Well, you got that stanky leg, you know what I'm That leg, yes. Yo, that leg go, yeah. <laughs> so you saw Captain, it was Captain America that got shot. Yeah. Oh, okay, I two thought that was two, like, yeah. I was like, damn, that was a short career. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know he'd get shot. I mean, I know it would survive that. Well, yeah. the thing is, he's Captain America now, so of course he survived that. But bullets don't affect him. Colonel Lewis. I love that other guy. He's like, oh shit, he's alive. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I saw everything. Where did you say that monster was? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What did you say? He said, where did you, where did you say that launch site was? Because the story here is they're going to launch a rocket. Uh-huh. They're going to launch a rocket to, uh, to kill the president uh, in Washington. They're, they're going to launch it to the White House. So I, I will give them this, man. The... So the costume in this, you know, we ain't remember, we're not working with a Marvel budget. No. And we, ain't, we don't even have Marvel time. But they do know that this costume looks stupid. So they do take time out to explain how ridiculous the notion of this costume is, kind of. Besides, you got that crazy fireproof uniform Dr. Vaselli made up for you. She didn't know much about camouflage. But she sure did love the red, white, and blue. No, she didn't. No. She's a Nazi. She's a Nazi. Right. So she tried to make that costume look as stupid as possible. <laughs> she knew what she was doing before she went out. Yeah. <laughs> I love he was even like, well, it's not really good for camouflage. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was trying to get you shot. <laughs> yeah. As big as bright as possible. It ain't a proof of no military skill right. at all. And it looks dumb, and mm-hmm. the military approved it. Yeah. And what proof is that 
thin rubber costume. Get, oh, it's man. about as thin as as a rubber glove, as a surgical glove. Because keep in mind, they're not talking about any kind of vibranium here, no. anything like that. Um, <laughs> you you, you want to know about as thin as that as that, as that, co as that costume right there? Uh, the plane they flying in. <laughs> that plane, they ain't even trying to make it look like it's up in the sky. Look how fake this set looks. Oh, oh yeah. shit. God bless you, Captain America. Ain't no wind blowing. Right, His yeah. clothes ain't flapping. He's right. like, what's up, man? Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody down there dangling that cord. Yeah, yeah, I'm pulling on it. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no wind gusting you're, you're by. Right, there's no wind gusting like, by. Like, look at his clothes. His clothes are not flapping in the wind at all. Now, we're up in the air. He's sticking his head out mm -hmm. into the, to the supposed clouds. God bless you, Captain America. They are so broke, they couldn't even afford a fan. No fan. <laughs> and, and every, to blow his clothes. Your shit blows out there, you stick your head out the car uh -huh. when you're driving down the neighborhood. His head is still on. Yeah, yeah. That shit should've went like, whoop. Well, even when they open up the, 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 the they, they just slide it open. Not like when people were they're pressurized uh -huh. up in the air, like, go on, you gotta go. It's just, all right, look good. Yeah. Jump, out, jump out the plane real quick. Uh, <laughs> and it's clearly they're on a set. <laughs> unless, that, unless that hat is Elmer glued to his head. Right. No, Elmer glue would rip off. Yeah, yeah, that's we cheap. We talking glue. about gorilla glue. On this <laughs> shit. He yeah, not, yeah, he just, he just jumps off a ledge. <laughs> Look, no, a ledge is higher than that. <laughs> he just like he jumped off a goddamn playground or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you gotta love how everything is like. If we shoot it tight, nobody will no, know. No, right, yeah, exactly. Yes, we know. I love you, Bernie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you got somebody holding him down. Don't you get up? Don't you yeah. ruin the shot? Yeah, it's like, it's He's like, like he, this. Yeah, <laughs> like he jumped off a jungle gym. Or some shit. I'm telling you, no, jungle gym's too high. It is high. Yeah. It's too high. Yeah. They don't away. It's just an old mattress down there. <laughs> and don't try to explain why they gave him this shield instead of a gun. You all right with that there shield? Could use a little more time to practice. Don't explain why they gave him a shield, and don't explain why they gave him this shield and only gave him a day to try it out. Right. Like this whole scene, especially from the actor playing Captain America, it, it's it's all him going, I don't know about this. <laughs> what the f is this, by the yeah. way? It's him just saying, well, if you say so. <laughs> so, yeah. so I, 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 I have to wear this costume because it's not really yeah. well, camouflage me. You yeah. okay with that shield? What shield? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was I supposed to bring that? <laughs> I, I could have used more practice, like. An extra day or yeah. some weeks. Sorry about that, Cap. <laughs> yeah, hey, it should be all right. You'll be okay. Just throw it. Well, if you say so. Yeah, but <laughs> take take what you got and save the White House. Yeah. <laughs> man, this man, this costume looks stupid. It's kind of thin. I don't know where it'll 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 protect you from bullets. Well, if, well, if you say so. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. It'll deflect bullets. Well, well at least how do I look at the costume? <laughs> Oh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, you know, I mean, you, oh you, man, you pull it off. Yeah, handsome guy, you look great. Well, if you say so. <laughs> you don't have no bravado. No. There's no like, yes, I'm gonna defend my country. He's sitting there like, yeah, are you I, sure? I, okay, so I guess. I guess if you say so. <laughs> so you, yeah, I would wear. So you want me to run into a hell of bullets? Yeah, that's suit to protect you. Be all right. Well, if you say so. <laughs> Uh, they give him everything in a day. They just say go, yeah, go. go. Hey, yeah, just, you got out of hospital bed on your own. So yeah, 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 here it you, is. So you'll be you fine, ready. man. Hey, we spent a lot of money on you. You'll be you'll be fine. But I will say, maybe it's because they had confidence in him, because uh he he is a quick learning. Like he takes that shield. Knock down toy sets. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> knock down them Lincoln logs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lincoln logs. Now, this is what they do in movies where they want you to think that a damn set that looks like a toy, like it has gravity, mm -hmm. they slow the film down. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. that's what they did too, right here. <laughs> now, I want y'all to notice a couple of things right here. <laughs> uh, is... Two, uh, like one, one I'm gonna hit them as a one. I want y'all to notice that the, the Nazi that come in the spotlight, he's supposed to be up in this in, uh -huh. in the fortress. Right. And 
When Captain Tower. America throws the Watchtower, yeah. when Captain America throws the shield, he he ducks like that's gonna make the fall better. You're right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and that was the Nazi up in the in the Watchtower. Now watch the Watchtower when it falls. That fool got the f out of there. Yeah, yeah, anybody in there. <laughs> when he ducked, he, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he went down, he slid down the ladder in the back. Yeah, he did. He, he, like, yeah. he, he like, said, I'm uh, out. I don't want no part of this. <laughs> I don't like the look of this at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About this goddamn jungle gym. You got yeah, yeah. <laughs> the treehouse. You can't <laughs> treehouse. That's what he's in. Yeah. A treehouse with a spotlight yeah. on. It's probably been Ricky the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Like, oh, Ricky ass treehouse. There's house. no way that's yeah. going to survive that. It's going over here. Yeah. I'm out this. Who needs a gun when your shield has the power to blow up barrels full of gas? <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> all you saw was his big ass head do that. And then whoosh. Yeah, but like, you can't even see him. This editing is horrible. This editing is terrible in this movie. Look, see? <laughs> <laughs> all he did was spread that big ass head is. That's all you saw with that ass. <laughs> look at that shit, man. It looked like he got attacked by a dog. <laughs> Get the dog off me. <laughs> I guess he caught it. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I think that was his hand. I'm not sure. Every time he catches something, you never see the full body. No. Nope. Captain America finally has the big showdown with uh, with the Red Skull. Help of my English lessons. You need help with that accent, my <laughs> English lessons. He says, I write when I need help with my... And so he's supposed to be... German. He's supposed to be German, but the movie made him Italian. He sounds like Dracula right here. Right, yeah, he don't sound Italian or German. Yeah, no, just in time for my English lessons. Good evening. Ooh, an American. Just Ooh, an American. Okay, come on, man. I am needing help on my English lessons. He sounds like Wario or something. Yeah. It's a me, a Wario. That, so, my English lessons. Yeah, he's a, yeah, so they made him Italian. We're getting to that in a little bit, but. Mm, so the, in, in the editing, the editing gets worse, man. It's bad with the shootouts, but when they start fighting, yeah. the, like I said, I don't think they had a, 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 a fight coordinator, so they just they just chopped it up in quick in, in yeah. quick edits, so you wouldn't cut, notice. Swing cut, yeah. swing cut, swing yep. cut. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like he's like he trying to stick it up his ass right there. Yeah, didn't he? <laughs> he been he been that yeah. ass over. Yeah, kill me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, take this oh, shit. It seems the Americans have made a poor choice for their champion. Yeah, made a poor choice of getting editors too, man. This thing is terrible. It's so yeah, bad. You see, it was swing, cut, swing, yeah. cut, yep. swing, cut, and yep. then what are they? What? How many watermelons are they gonna destroy every time somebody hits somebody? <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that Foley guy just yeah. busting watermelons, yeah. ain't he? He's talking about they made a poor choice in heroes right here. Red Skull is not wrong. Uh, because it? sorry, it's Captain America. Oh, it is. That Super Soldier Serum. All they did for him was take away his limp. <laughs> That's it. Because his ass whipped right now. <laughs> yeah, the, the, this whole experiment was executed poorly because they they send him out and not only do they send him out in a day after he's had the serum, one day of training, they give him a damn trash can lid to go out there in a <laughs> in a in a rubber suit, but they send him by himself. No no team. No yeah, platoon or right. anything, nothing. <laughs> and so not only, so he goes out there and of course he only had one day of training, of course he gets his ass beat. <laughs> and, and, and that's his ass handed to him. Hard. <laughs> Talks about and, wrapped yeah. in a package. And then, <laughs> and then the Red Skull looks at, looks at, his, at the rest of the Nazis and say, bring that duct tape over here. You are a perfect symbol of America, my brother. We Strapped his ass oh, up to this, this rocket right here. <laughs> Strapped his ass to this rocket here, man. As, just, just to give insult to injury. My brother, weak and self-pitious. Yeah, he's about to shoot his ass over to Washington. Clearly got his ass whooped. Well, yeah, yeah look at he got his head down. <laughs> Embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, yeah, that super soldier, sir. He told that shit wouldn't work. <laughs> now, if they had given him green chef, oh, yeah. he would have been strong. <laughs> he would have been, he would have been healthy. He would have been ready for that fight, man. Green chef for that red man, <laughs> but people, you got to do a quick, a quick pause to give word to our sponsor right over here, which is Green Chef. What is this Green Chef that you speak of? Well, Green Chef 
is the number one meal kit company that makes eating well and healthy very easy and they make it very easy to fit every lifestyle. Hey, listen, you don't need a super soldier serum to be strong and healthy out there and beat the hell out of people. All you need is a good, healthy meal. And that's what you'll get with Green Chef over here. You know, and it fits all kind of lifestyles, like I was saying. You know, they got all kind of all kind of O's and ands out there, mm. you know, keto, paleo, yeah. uh, vegetarian, uh, oh. uh, pescatarian, <laughs> pescatarian, <laughs> vegetarian, oh, pescatarian, <laughs> uh, vegan, oh, <laughs> all of those. What did I say? Homo, <laughs> all that stuff out there, man. Green Chef has got you, no matter what your lifestyle is. Let's talk about time, too, because a lot of people think it takes a lot of time to prepare a healthy meal. It does not. It does not. They have these step by step recipes and they'll have a meal ready for you in 30 minutes. That meal that you make yourself, of course, but they have you all. I mean, they got you, though. They give you all the ingredients delivered to you. They got all the portions sized out. So all you got to do is follow instructions. And in 30 minutes or maybe less, you have a nice, healthy meal waiting on you. Yeah. Ain't nothing like enjoying a meal with a nice conscious, knowing that you did something to help the world. And that's exactly what you'll be doing if you get on with Green Chef. You know, with Green Chef, they have meals that are both carbon and plastic offset when it's delivered to you. So 100% of their delivery emissions to your door uh, is set off by their by their prepackaged meals. And you'll also have, or they put out 100% of the plastic in every box that you can, re, you can, you can recycle and oftentimes recycle curbside. <laughs> right here in the good old U.S. So, delicious, nutritious, and it's good for the planet. It's also good for your pocketbook right here. Look at what we're going to do for you. We're going to take 60% off plus free shipping if you go to greenchef.com slash toasted60 and use the promo code toasted60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. I'm going to spell it out for you so you know what I'm saying. G-R-E-E-N-C-H-E-F dot com slash t-o-a-s-t-e-d and that's the number 60. Ooh, that just made that food taste a whole lot better and it tasted great already hey i want to thank green chef for coming in and supporting this portion of the show and i want to thank all of you out there for your support now getting back into it <clears throat> let's see where we are so martin yeah yeah i agree, I agree with you martin this is this is by far this is by far the Goofiest and most sorry ass <laughs> Captain America we have. Ain't, ain't got we why well, I, I ain't seen no powers with him. No, except. nothing. <laughs> they, <laughs> powers cost money, Martin. <laughs> shit, that shield is stronger than him, man. You better be glad they gave him that shield. Right. They put more money in that shield than him. And the, the, man, what's the actor's name? Matt Salinger. He's Just, the son of uh, JD Salinger. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. No, yeah. no, no screen presence at all. No, no, zero. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he just looks so pathetic on that plane ride over there. He really so, does. Yeah, just feel I bad. Got got me. I gotta wear this costume. Yeah. And, uh, wish I could have practiced with the shield. And yeah. No, no, nobody else coming to help me. No, nah, yeah. son. When it made you, they broke the mold and yeah. killed the doctor. Yeah. So. <laughs> broke the mold and killed the doctor. <laughs> hey, like, it, it could have sent some regular troops with me. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you say so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> that poor costume got his broke his nose and everything. I know, I know. It's like, but but just to clarify, I don't look stupid though, right? <laughs> no, oh, man, you look no, fine. no, you don't. I mean, you look very stupid. <laughs> you know, once you're there, it won't even matter. <laughs> but you, you still didn't answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is by far the goofiest and sorry ass Captain America that we got. No screen presence, no powers, stupid ass costume. But I will say, he does have his moments. Like with that rocket, cause y'all saw him. He was looking like, oh shucks. And on my first day too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> he forgot my yeah. But he did say, listen, I ain't as sorry as y'all think I am. Cause he looked up at the skull and said, you know what, if you gonna launch me on a goddamn sh uh, rocket ship, if I gotta go, bitch, you gotta go with me. <laughs> Travel cheaply as one, you sick bastard. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who, who the hell is this? Oh, man. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been for this. Yeah, you, you've been a bitch all this other yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on now. Yeah, right. You cross yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Where you got his arm strength from? Sick bastard. Now stop the launch. Stop it or I'm taking you with me. Oh, yeah, you were talking about that shit earlier. Look at it. Yeah. 
Uh, and I noticed that accent was gone too. Yeah. Uh, Captain America. He said that all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. man. Yeah. Get, get, get yeah. 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 Stop the loss. Yeah. You heard this. Stop the loss, man. Shit. Yeah. Damn it. Hey. Get this bitch off me. <laughs> now, I want y'all to remember this. Take, take a mental note. Remember this. No time. Amazing. No. <laughs> he cut his, own, he hand cut off, his own hand off. No blood, by the way. Right. Um, <laughs> so he cut his own hand off. Y'all, y'all remember this now. Remember this. We'll, we'll move on, but we'll, we'll come back to this. Just remember this. Uh, so the bomb makes it to D.C. as planned to blow up the White House, <laughs> where the <laughs> where the only <laughs> sitting there the whole time. Yeah, where the only person to see it is this kid with the world's best binoculars. <laughs> oh my God! That's a camera! That's a camera! Oh, that's a camera. That yeah. like, binoculars. oh Jesus! My man paid good money for that yeah, nigga. Sure <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Serious. Shit, that man with the world's best camera. Shit, the zoom on that is amazing, man. <laughs> In HD, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like Captain Brady, like, fuck you, you just stand there, kid. It's like the kid went to a movie and stood in front of the screen. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that, no, that's what it is. No, I know. That, that's that, so that, bad. That's exactly people, what it is. That is the effect that they did. They so they this is called rear screen projection. Mm -hmm. So they had this kid standing in, a, in front of a in front of a goddamn uh, tablecloth or uh, yeah. bed sheet and <laughs> bed sheet. <laughs> yeah, they had to stand in front of a bed sheet and projected that that yeah. footage on there. <laughs> I have never been strapped to a rocket and launched to blow up the White House, so I wouldn't know personally, you know, but uh, I didn't know that you could actually kick the rocket like riding a horse and <laughs> have it steer in a different direction. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, maybe if he was actually kicking a rocket, because there's nothing coming out of the, no, the back where he's kicking. It's just metal. Yeah. Right. Well, also, if you can kick the rocket to do that, you didn't think of that shit miles ago <laughs> before it got here? <laughs> Mr. Captain America. Right. Well, you know, he was a little dazed and punch drunk. And <laughs> His first day. And then <laughs> when he realized how close he was to the White House, he, was, he panicked and was like, oh, oh shit, I got to like, do something. Oh, shit, that's the White House. <laughs> oh, now I guess I better kick this shit out the way. Now, how he saw the White House upside down yeah. strapped to a rocket. That's a whole other issue. I that kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll get you a little later. Oh, yeah, I'm taking your ass with me too. I'll get you. Are oh, you going to do take two, pictures? You huh? can travel as cheaply yeah, as one. Yeah. I'm taking somebody. Yeah, that's what you Somebody go with me. I can go by myself. That's exactly what it looks like. I see you looking at me. Yeah, yeah. I got something for you. Yeah, you keep looking at me here. You got something for your ass. He might not be the smartest kid in the world, but he's going to be somebody one day. You don't like your father. He's got that early meeting at the state. Like, okay, like no mom would say that to their kid. No, no even if their kids, even if your father did have a meeting at the State Department, she's like, hey, go to bed now. Don't wake up your father. He has a big meeting at the State Department tomorrow. <laughs> she would just say, take your little ass to bed. <laughs> right, right. Go to sleep. I'm president. And he says, one day, I'm going to be president. And you and you know that he's going to be president. Because you're saying, yeah, sure, you're going to be president. But, hey, you know he's going to be president if... His mom is saying, go to sleep, Mr. President. She says like Marilyn Monroe. Uh, yeah. Go to sleep. Hey, if mom says it, yeah. then that's what it's going to be. Kind of sexual, but yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. President. President. He's like, well, I know what that means. Yeah. yeah. She'll be, she be back in about yes, five minutes. Yeah. She's getting ready. <laughs> By the way, that's hot. Uh, <laughs> mom, did I pee on myself? It doesn't smell like pee. I don't know what this is. <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> you know, nasty. You're gonna be nasty. <laughs> and he and the thing is he he does become president. And not just any president. 
Shit, y'all thought of, know, y'all thought of, boy, y'all thought Obama was cool, man. This man wears jeans with his dress jacket right here. That's oh, it. In the Oval, yeah, in the Oval yeah, Office. Yeah, yeah, look, I'm a cool president. Yep. That's Ronnie Cox as the president, by the way. Um, oh, he dragged Ronnie Cox in this. Yeah. But his, uh, his Secretary of Defense uh, is not so cool. Uh, you can see him right here. You, you might recognize that profile. Uh, so you already know that his Secretary of Defense is not up to any good because first of all he's the dad from a Christmas story with his nasty ass oh, yeah. getting, getting getting off on a, on a leg lamp <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and also uh, the dad from Billy Madison yeah what what's the actor's name Darren McGavin yeah, Darren yeah, McGavin Darren, yeah the Night Stalker and uh, also you know he's up to no good because he has a real ominous way of saying goodbye by the way good luck in Rome Sir, thank you. That long ass stare. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 come back, come back, come back. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying you're getting like, no, 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 no. no, no. The way you said it. Yeah, yeah, no. You just, you just said, you. (laughs) Did you you see the way he looked in? Like when somebody says, when somebody says something and then give you a long ass look when you should be out the room already? Good luck in Rome, sir. Yeah, yeah, so it is. Like, yeah. Hey, hold on. Can't too much hit the wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the reason why they don't really get along. And that's because uh, him and the Secretary of Defense, they don't really agree on an environmental plan. Like, this guy's an environmental president. And I'm going to tell you, okay, yeah, my man's up to no good, the Secretary of Defense, but he's got a point. Just simply can't expect us to cut back on our solid waste 90% in six months. I'm gonna hurt this. <laughs> he's like, I, you talking to the president, but he's right. He is right. You gonna clean up? You pretty much gonna clean up the planet in what? Ninety, six, 90 days. Ninety, so not three even six, months. three months. Yeah, and, and, and that means everybody in the country making a huge sacrifice in the way they do things. Which people? This is the '90s. Ain't nobody sacrificing <laughs> no, shit. Yeah. But even though my man has a point. He is up to no good. Turns out he belongs to Spectre. <laughs> right. Oh, Jesus. A bu- and, and I'm going to tell you something, man, just in case you question uh, how, how, how bad they are. They are truly evil. And you, and you know this. You know they're truly evil by one thing in particular. If Kimball ain't stopped, you're going to see everything that you worked for and planned for for the last 30 years go right down the crapper. No, he's not. That yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Evil no, British dude. Not. Anytime you have a man that, who talks like this, a little, you know, too British, mm-hmm. that means he's up to no good. No. 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 In the chairs. Yeah. And nobody is stroking a cat. Yep. I can't believe yeah. that. Yeah. that. That's that Severus Snape. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. No, he's not. Evil. Anytime somebody says no to you, get away. <laughs> he's got a cigar too. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. You are correct, just in case you're wondering. He said, man, that dude looked familiar in there. <laughs> that that is the red skull, but he's that he's that new new skull. Right, right. Like he got he got uh he got hair plants, hair implants, he got a a, a, a skin bleach. Uh I think they gave him some some high cheekbones. Yeah, he he he's on that. I'm tired of wearing this <laughs> this makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he went and got some major, and they said he had some plastic surgery uh-huh. done, and voila, there you go. He's even more yeah. frightening. Yeah. 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 And I like the way they keep, even though he looks like this, I like the way we keep calling him Red Skull, even though there was nothing red or skull about him That's a at, this point. at this point. Yeah, it sure <laughs> is. Like, he's even gone full <laughs> Italian. Like, he wasn't there yet. He was kind of deciding, am I German or am I Italian? I don't know which way I want to go yet. No, he's full Italian now. And I'll tell you why. Because he's gotten to the point where he's not working with the Nazis anymore. He is a straight-up Italian mafia don. Oh. My man right here. Oh, he certainly got the pomade in his hair. For oh, him. yeah. Yeah, yeah. that Steven Seagal going on. Yeah, I want y'all to see the difference right here, too. Look at that. He went, oh, shit, how they man. went from, from this over here <laughs> to this. Boy, that's a... Every woman in California wants to, in LA, wants to know who his plastic <laughs> yeah, surgeon yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a major skin peel. <laughs> that <laughs> is, Jesus boy, that guy's good. <laughs> Whoever did that, our woman. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's gone full mafia don now. Uh, he's pretty much a godfather. Mm-hmm. Like if you need someone assassinated, and we ain't talking about no, we ain't, you know we ain't talking about some some schmo that owes you money or anything like that. We talking about do you need a top 
uh, political figure? Do you need a top social figure killed? You know, like, I don't know, maybe a president or a presidential hopeful or somebody who's just talking too much shit and having too much influence out there. You call the Red Skull. He's got you. No. Assassination is the word of trouble. What do we get for all our veins? Saints. So this man killed Martyrs. RFK, JFK, Oswald, mm -hmm. and even and even Martin, Martin Luther, Luther King. King. Yeah. And I'm sure he did that one for free. Yep. <laughs> so this dude. No, no, it cost him $22 million. For the rest. I'm sure he said, you know what? <laughs> I'll throw this one in as a freebie. Right. You know, that's a bonus right there. <laughs> it's like when you get the free egg roll for when you get a Chinese <laughs> dinner. You know, I'll, I'll kill this dude. get one free. Yeah, I'll kill this black ass for free. That's fine. <laughs> Still a discount. I, I don't like that dude anyway. I cut you a deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and hey, listen, he said, I might, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I might not be, uh, you know, I might not have that super villain look anymore. You know, I might have gone more Mafia Don right here, but, uh, you know, let's not forget, I'm st I still am a supervillain when I need to be. I am only a humble businessman. Control him using a brain implant I have invented. So you're talking about not killing the president, but listen, you know, this is a super, still a superhero movie. You know, this, this is not the Godfather. <laughs> How about I put a brain implant <laughs> and, and remote control him like a car or something? <laughs> He'd be like, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Yeah, like, okay. Yeah, you know, he's more. He's more so like, yeah, okay, man, do the. He's, he's like, I just want to shoot them. You want to make a yeah, right, right. Yeah, you, you killed all these other people. Now, you, oh, now you want to do brain implants? Okay, I, I got to be honest. I stop listening for a while. Yeah. yeah, can we just shoot the dude? All right, whatever, man. Sure, man. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we about to wrap this up here. Cause right now we're thinking, man. You know, they're about to kill the president or at least put a brain implant in him and have him do their, their their bidding, their evil bidding. Boy, we sure could use Captain America right now. But Captain America, you know, he's he's out there in the ice, man. You know, because if you've been watching the movie or if you oh, know, right, if, you, right. if, you, if, you, if you saw the trailer, or if you know the, the origin story, you know, Captain America, he landed in that in that at the Antarctic. <laughs> <laughs> Kick that rocket out right yeah, in the snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, shit, well, at least the White House didn't blow up. <laughs> he yeah. just kicked it till he got to the snow. <laughs> Put his ass on ice. He went to that Antarctic and just landed there. And if you know the story, that's where he stayed for years and years. That damn toy rocket. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at that. <laughs> It's so pathetic. It is. It's so bad, it man. Is. It really is, man. Man, it looked like Superman 2. Yeah. yeah. You so, know, when they were in the shadow. Superman 2 had at least about 10 more dollars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Superman yeah. 2 was like a decade before that. <laughs> yes. And, my, and so, you know, a man was frozen on ice. <laughs> we sure could use him now, but, you know, he's frozen. He's stuck. Well, it's a, you know, unfortunately, <clears throat> yes, he is in the ice. But, fortunately for us, there's always somebody... No. Mm -hmm. And we have these, uh, I guess, a, a research team that stumbles across it, red hands, <laughs> just rubber gloves oh, sticking right. out the snow. <laughs> I mean, don't, don't forget the montage that tells you the passage of time. Oh, yeah. With those uh, newspapers, but that's that's fine. Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Figured I'd save you some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So he, there's a research team that finds him, and it's a good ass thing. They, they, they keep a hot ass tent. What the hell is this? Now, I want you to notice something right here. My man just woke up, uh, just got thawed out the ice. Now, pay attention to what he does next. Nazis. See ya. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, where the f going? Yeah, yeah. Like, he you know, Oh, that's where am I? Or who are you? He's just like, I'm out. Yep. Well, he hears the accents and he's just like, Nazis. <laughs> but instead of being like, Nazis, let me punch let me, someone. Yeah. He's like, nah, last yeah, time I was fucking around with Nazis, they didn't yeah, go yeah, like yeah, yeah. You know what? I don't think we're ready yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go train with the shit yeah. or something, then I'll come back. Or right, maybe it's like, God damn, it's hot in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, folks, 
that ends our part one right there. We we uh, and like I said, this our, like Martin said, this movie. You were correct, sir. One hundred percent. This movie's gold. <laughs> I'm so glad that you recommended this. I'm glad y'all okay, listening. Good, good. I because I was watching. I was like, I hope he's liking this. I feel like there's a lot here to go over. Oh, I, I loved it, just, man. Because as bad as it's been, it just starts getting shittier. Oh yeah, oh, synthesized ass music when he broke out. That's oh, yeah. this amazing part. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he just leaves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just so I'm unceremoniously out. just yeah, walked yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. This whole build up, he's like, I'm gonna go ahead and go out here. I don't well, man, that's what it was. Y'all ain't gonna beat my ass again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was what it was. Fuck that. Who wants? And did they tape the shield to the rocket also? I, oh, that's a I, oh, shit. Because yeah. you, you just saw him like this. It ain't like they're going to go like, here, yeah, and we go going to take this shield so we can go to the White House. Thank you, right. They, they, they didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> yeah. They didn't take it Jesus. to experiment on it. But it wasn't even in the shot. Right. That's it what I'm saying. Him. It wasn't even in the shot. But he walks out with it. Yeah. But I mean, the, like, but why would they even tape why, it? To why would they tape it? To the yeah. rocket? Why, why, why would that, that travel with him right. from Italy it, or right. wherever he was? Right. To, <laughs> yeah. This yeah. Captain America, he just ends up in the ice because he sacrifices himself. I mean, the new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. <laughs> this don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> no, no, it Take don't. Shield, which is too yeah, yeah, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, the shield's not there. Yeah. No, nah, you're right. They don't give no, maybe it followed him. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he threw it. He threw it. Yeah, he's, he's able to throw it anywhere. Yeah. It just comes back. Yeah, it came back like it did here. <laughs>